Boutique Ship Owner 98. It is the digital times and we are all numbers. This video is done by an hologram and therefore, yes, it did hurt. So it's not an hologram. And crew management, it is becoming some kind of a, a number digital business, isn't it? By some companies like Oh, excuse me, I got a better offer. Goodbye. Or is it a boutique business? Like we have our ship, safety is first, then after we have with prevention, done the audits, verification, trained the personnel, all the security, gear, and training, and courses, and everything of operations, then, of course, we can take a look at the health of it. seafarers, then, at last, the commercial side, like the boutique. If it was digital, of course, we would need no seafarers, no ship owners, either would we. And uh, this is what is happening today. Now, being a fourth generation family company, there are some very good things that digital means have, like this video, for example, to communicate, to increase the goodwill of a company, the intrinsic value, the marketing. And the next thing is to communicate. Where are we going in this digital world? Is it so important to have social media and to have a number for a seafarer or is it more important to shake hands with all the crew on board one ship in person by the CEO, the owner and wanting to have a boutique long-term family on board so we can respect the rosters or are we here just to get the latest job offer which is $200 more, $200 more or are we here to stay like a family on board the ship. There is plenty nationalities that would like to just get a bigger wage. Some say this nationality, that nationality, don't contact them because they will just leave you next time they have a better offer. And other ship owners are thinking, well, are my ships a boutique or am I a boutique? I wonder, yes. That's the reply. Then, should I be a boutique? Do I have to treat my people in the ship owner's office and also my seafarers because we are the same family as a boutique? Yes, then please contact Candina because we believe that after four generations, there is nothing better than that. an owner, as I expressed in many videos before, making decisions for the owner. It's very clear that if we have a big ship manager always puts first in the priority, priority, sorry, the ship manager. But if it is a crew management company, a family one, we know the first is always the ship owner. And if we have a conflict of interest in the safety areas, for example, should I comply with this or that? on board or should I really send a lot of proposals to a lot of seafarers so I grow? Which is the best option? Of course, if a crew management family company, boutique company makes the decision, ship owner is first, then the ship manager will always tend to send the most emails possible, the most possible better offers so they take over the bigger number of fleet and the biggest number of fleets. Well, that is the strategy. Now, the question is, are ship owners with this video finding clear that having a boutique crew management company, a family, is what is all about? Because money is nice, but having a good time is much better. Same thing applies for seafarers. If the seafarers listening to this video want to go for the number and, oh, I get 200 more dollars, I need to go for another job offer. 
or should I stay here because I feel like a family with the ship owner and the crew? It's very important for safety that we all teach each other because we depend in the boutique. And thank you very much indeed for your time. Like and subscribe. Bye.